tonight on News Center. Find out how the Internship Center can help you. Students take a frosty plunge for a good cause. And a community comes together to promote kindness. News Center starts right now. Good evening and welcome to CUTV News Center for the week of February 20th. I'm Matt Hagee. And I'm Katherine Leverfinger. Even though the weather is getting warmer, it does not mean that it's time to get ready for summer. There are still some precautions that student ne students need to consider to stay safe. I think a few things that you should have on hand is uh, take a bag of extra clothes, um, a nice winter coat with a hood on it pair of boots, hat, gloves, scarf, um, a few other things I'd also throw in. It's not too big of a bother. It's maybe a bag of like kitty litter, um, some flares, and a good working flashlight. With the warmer weather causing the snow to melt, students should be watching out for flooding. You, you have to always be cautious for flooding areas and don't go through it. Um, if, you, if you know like in tomorrow we're going to have probably a big melt off, you know, keep your speed down because you don't want to hide your plane, you know, when the roads get wet and there's uh, enough water to cause that to happen. So give yourself enough time to make it where you're going. Drive slow, be cautious, and uh, stay alert. Students who are looking for more information can go to ready.gov and type in the search bar, Winter. Last week, a unique event took place in the Mon Valley, and our own Creighton Raps was there for it. Creighton. Yes, and it took me a couple days to, uh, to thaw, Matt. Thank you. <laughs> The temperature barely reached 30 degrees on Saturday, but that didn't stop the community from taking a dip in the Mon to raise funds for an area high school scholarship fund. The Monongahela River in Cole Center. Usually quiet on a winter weekend, but the Ducks that call this area home had some company last Saturday as the California Area School District Foundation hosted their first annual Frosty Freeze. We got the idea rolling and the board voted on it last summer and it took off from there. Lisa Boudet, myself, were the primary uh, organizers of the event and Lisa just really helped take it off and make it happen for us. Over 50 brave souls, including several Cal U students, braved freezing temperatures to jump into the Mon and raise money for the foundation. The school district foundation uh, supports the mission of the California Area School District with scholarships, many teacher grants. We did 18 scholarships last year in, uh, in this coming year we hope to do more. So what is the motivation behind jumpers wanting to take a dip in the Monongahela on a cold February weekend afternoon? I ended up being awarded a scholarship when I was in high school so it's like might as well get back, might as well benefit another student. What was it like jumping into that cold water? <laughs> Freezing. There's a minute, like as soon as you leave the platform, I was like, I shouldn't do this, and it was just, oh my goodness, surrounded by cold water. It's crazy. Yeah, I jumped in with my girlfriend, and when she come up out, I don't know what my face looked like, but she was had scared look in her eyes. So it was uh, pretty intense. As soon as you hit the water, that your fight or flight kind of kicks in, and you feel the adrenaline just jump, and it's. It's just, it's shocking. It's very shocking to you. Thinking about jumping in on this cold day was just, just one bad. crazy idea in itself, but actually doing it with another, and it was definitely exhilarating. So would these jumpers do it again next year? Yeah. <laughs> if, if we're around, yeah, we, we might be moving on to grad school, but absolutely if we're here. It was worth it, absolutely. Never do it again, probably, but it was a worth it. As the spring, spring semester rolls on, many students may be starting to apply for summer internships. CUTV reporter Amber Simcoe spoke with Tracy Beck about the internship center here at Cal U. California University's internship center has a lot of career advice and internship opportunities to offer to students. Located on the second floor of Eberly Hall, the internship center works as a centralized, decentralized office. 
Tracy Beck, along with faculty advisors, help students of all majors look for internships throughout the region, the state, and the country. But I, I always talk to the students and, t and find out what they really want to do uh, when they graduate from college because that's a big part in finding an internship for them uh, that best fits students because you want to test drive a career. You want to find out if that's exactly when it, what you want to do when you graduate. Uh, for the rest of your life. So it's a big step. Um, an, an internship either solidifies the, that fact uh, or uh, takes you in a different career path. Um, so it's a win-win all the way around. Internships also serve to be a great experience for students and they look great on a resume. Employers look for at least one, two internships on a student's resume before they hire them. So um, an internship is so important for students uh, to network, get experience, and pad their resume. The Internship Center is also partnered with the Washington Center, which allows students to complete their internships in our nation's capital. Cal U waives the tuition and fees for students to attend the Washington Center. Um, you can get 12 free credits over the summer. Uh, it's a wonderful program. Students come back with amazing stories, great experiences. Besides the Internship Center, Career Services is also available to help students write resumes, write cover letters, and apply for jobs. For CUTV News Center, I'm Amber Simcoke. The Office of Civic Engagement at Cal U is finding ways for students to give back to the community. With the initiative Cal U Kindness, they are recognizing students who help others. CUTV, CUTV reporter Kimberly Diebner has more on how students can get involved. Good deeds we do go unnoticed or unrewarded. The Center for Civic Engagement here at Cal U is noticing and rewarding good deeds through the Cal U Kindness Challenge. The Cal U Kindness Challenge is a 10-week program starting actually from yesterday and it runs all the way till finals week, May 5th. And every week the Center for Civic Engagement will pick out a random um, kindness challenge or kind, random act of kindness and they will actually put, we put it on Twitter and the students will tweet us back a picture of them doing it or a picture of some type of um, action related to the challenge with the hashtag Cal U Kindness. The Twitter handle for the Cal U Kindness Challenge is at Cal U Volunteer. Every week there is a certain amount of points that a person can get. So say that you do the one challenge a week, then you get one point per challenge. And they're only allowed to get one point per challenge unless we tell them that they can earn more for specific events. If the idea of being rewarded by having a finals week feast sounds good to you, please participate in the Cal U Kindness Challenge. Reporting for CU TV News Center, I'm Kimberly Diebner. A dance held at Peters Township High School last weekend was stopped early after school administration members caught students twerking. The 600 students in attendance were told to leave an hour before the dance was scheduled to end. Twerking is described as a sexually provocative dance that involves thrusting the hips at a low squatting stance. School board member Williams Merrill has contacted the Arthur Murray Dance Studio to see if students can be taught proper dance lessons. The winter weather has taken a toll on our cars, roads, and made commuting a dangerous task, but it has also had an effect on our mental and physical health. A depression known as Seasonal Affective Disorder, or SAD, affects at least 12 million people in the United States. The brain is going through a chemical imbalance because of the lack of sunlight. Some of the symptoms are fatigue, lack of energy, oversleeping, difficulty concentrating, and craving for high-carb foods. Some of the treatments for SAD are exercising more, light box therapy, and in severe cases, medication. So, Kat, I don't believe I've ever heard of a school dance ending due to twerking. I've, I feel like it's something that's, that should stop. I don't, I don't think twerking is appealing. I don't understand why people do it. I, I think these school officials took it a little too far by mm -hmm. ending the yeah. dance, but they clearly made their point that it's not right. something they'll accept. Well... No, any other schools, if they see this story, will not be doing that anytime soon. <laughs> and up next, Haley Atara has your entertainment report. Stay tuned. But first, here's a look at our five-day forecast. 